Chad. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about FTX, how this is exactly the same situation we had in 2008 with Lehman Brothers. With Lehman Brothers, they were doing mortgage-backed securities, and there was a lot of over-the-counter trading. There was no collateral being posted. What happened was when they went bankrupt, uh, literally, they had no money to liquidate. They don't have no money to fulfill their obligations. Apparently, a lot of people lost money in 2008, and you had a market crash. This is the same thing that is happening for crypto right now. This is very serious. A lot of people will lose faith in crypto. This is a this was one of the major exchanges that had people they were holding on to people's asset, right? They used it to gamble literally on other securities and they just lost. If you listen to their podcast, sometimes it was just all nonsense, right? These guys were saying we played and sometimes we made you win, but this time we're we're sorry, you know. I mean, this guy's coming out on Twitter and say, "Hey, I'm sorry. I fucked up. I should have done better." That is messed up, right? Because look, a lot of folks, right, are not well versed with crypto stuff. They buy it, they keep it on the exchange, they don't really put it in the hard wallet. What should really happen is you when you buy a crypto, don't keep it on the exchange. Get a hard wallet, put it in your wallet, and just be secured. But now at this point, to be really honest with you, I think this could potentially either SEC goes ahead and regulate the situation. SEC currently does not regulate cryptocurrency, right? They don't even know what it is. It's just a, is, it, is it a security? What is it? Once they regulate it, for example, in Lehman Brothers, when 2008 happened, they went ahead, they built the G20, they came up with the rules that anybody that's doing over-the-counter over the over the trades, they need to put down some initial margin or some variation margin to be able to make sure that if one counterparty goes bankrupt, your market is not going to be affected. You still have some money left that you can fulfill your obligations or whatever, whatever your, you know, your liabilities will be. At the end of the day, right here, there's nothing here. This guy lost billions. And, and to be really honest with you, I'm not even sure if he's going to be charged criminally because it's not regulated. You know, it's like it, it, crypto is not regulated. So I'm not even sure if he's going to be charged uh, criminally. I think he's just going to be, they're going to run a case on him. He's going to come up with some phony stuff and he's going to be out here uh, in the market with no problem, right? I don't think he's going to get in jail time for this. Uh, this just happened, right? Uh, but I think, to be really honest with you, this is not good for crypto. Um, I The Bitcoin is going to come down really hard as well. Once the whole situation unfolds, crypto will be coming down at this point. I, my recommendation is stay away from crypto right now. See how this unfolds, how, what regulations come in. If there will be any regulations for this, you need, you need to have regulations on this. If you're purchasing crypto, for example, keep it on your hard wallet, go to a ledger or something and, and keep it on the wallet. Don't keep it on the exchange. Uh, this guy's using your real money crypto. And now he's coming out. He's saying, Hey, listen, I can sell my Robin Hood, my Robin Hood shares for $9. Whoever wants to buy it. And he wants to raise a couple of, couple of hundred million dollars. And he's trying to sell, sell his Robin Hood shares. At the end of the day, crypto again is built on hypes. You know, for example, Dogecoin, that was a hype, you know, it made it to 73 cents. The highest it went, a lot of people invested in it. And now the stock, like the crypt, the Dogecoin is like 0 0.083 or something like that is down, right? The whole crypto, it's it's basically it's it's not regulated. If you're putting money in it, just so you know that be aware that you could actually lose all your money. So be very careful with that. Uh, try to use your own hard wallet um, and make sure that you don't keep the the things on the exchanges. Don't keep it on Binance. Don't keep it on crypt, um, you know Coinbase or whatever the case is. Buy the coin. Keep it on your hard wallet. I just want to make this quick video for you guys. I'll keep you guys posted on new news that come out on this uh, FTX. But you know, stay away from it right now. And hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.